Hi everyone! Today I'm looking at a game that looks intriguing. We are laying tiles not on a board but on a 12-sided magnetic world. Welcome to my review of Planet. Yes, Planet. It caught my eye during Essence Spiel 2018 and in this video I will show you how to play this blue-orange game. And then I will tell you what I think of it. Here we go! In Planet, every player starts with an empty planet core. 12 empty spaces that are waiting to be filled with magnetic continent tiles. You do not only receive the core, but also a hidden natural habitat card. On it is a personal objective that will give you bonus points at the end of the game, according to the amount of areas you have collected on your planet of that area type. So, first thing of note here, one continent tile always has five areas on it, five small triangles. And areas of the same kind that are directly adjacent we call a region. So a region consists of one or more areas and this can be on one tile but regions can also spread out over multiple continent tiles. So your objective card will give you a preference of areas to collect. The cards have different values on them but for example you will receive two, four, six, eight, or 10 points if you reach respectively 11, 14, 17, 21 or 25 glacier areas on your planet at the end of the game to score this glacier natural habitat card. You will set up the game like this. The game is played over 12 rounds and on each of those rounds you will be adding one tile to your planet. The starting player reveals five new tiles and chooses first. Clockwise, players take the tile they want and the first player marker moves clockwise at the end of the round as well. You can choose freely where to put the continent tiles. It's not a Carcassonne style puzzle. You don't even have to build adjacent. Eventually you will have to, but borders of tiles do not have to match. Of course it does matter which tile you choose and where you place it, because beginning with the end of round 3, there are animals that are looking for a home planet and you will want to lure them to yours. Why? Well, at the end of the game, each animal of your own color that you have collected will bring you one point. But animals that do not match your natural habitat card will bring you two points. Yes, you heard that right. Animals of different colors than your own are worth more. And now you maybe have an idea of where the game is going. Every animal will choose the planet that fits their conditions best. So the bear, for example, will settle on the planet with the largest forest region that is somewhere adjacent to a mountain area. The scorpion will join your planet if you have the largest desert that has no connection at all to a glacier. And the blue whale will settle on the planet that has the most distinct sea regions. So at the end of round three, the first animal will join the planet that fits its conditions best. Even if later in the game that condition is broken, the animal is yours. Sometimes planets will be in a tie. If that happens, the animal will move up to the next round and will be re-evaluated there. Animals will be moved up during ties until you get to the last round after which there are some tiebreaker rules to consider. Here they are. In case of a tie for most distinct regions, the animal card will go back into the box. The other animals will go to the planet that meets the requirement a second time. If that still results in a tie, the planet that has it a third time. After that, the animal goes back into the box as well, which somehow feels cruel. During the game you have a complete overview of all the different animals and the rounds they are eligible for evaluation. There are 45 different animal cards in the box, but you will use only 20 of them each game. The game has 50 different planet tiles and each round you will have 5 new ones out to choose from. And I can hear some of you say, but Dave, if we play 12 rounds with five tiles in each round and we only have 50 tiles, 
there are 10 tiles short. But I would slap you in the face and say, get a hold of yourself. The tiles that get discarded will form piles 11 and 12. And when they are formed, the rest will go into the box. I think we both learned something today. So at the end of the game, each player reveals their natural habitat card, counts the areas that match their card and see how many points that brings. Then you add one point for each animal you've collected in your color and two points for each different color. The player with the most points wins the game. In case of a draw, the win goes to the player with the most animal cards. That's it. That's how you play Planet. The rules are simple and well explained in only four pages. My copy came with eight different rule books. English, German, Portuguese, Dutch, Italian, Spanish, Russian and French. Well done. There's no text on the card so you can just play it. Production wise the game is a hit. There is no doubt the materials used are sturdy and will last a long time. No cheap plastics here which really is great. Blue orange delivered again I would say. The art on the animal cards are cute and lovely. My son was very enamored with the fennec fox. It's now his new favorite animal in the world. And looking at it, I can see why. If people are playing it, it attracts other people that are curious. Non-gamers are able to join in after looking at it for just a couple of rounds. The game is opened and closed in 30 minutes, which is great as well. But... Despite all these positive things, I did not enjoy my plays of this game. It's very personal because I do see what the game can bring to other people and, and other groups. But if I want to play this game well, and I think we all should strive for playing a game well, you need to look and plan ahead. There are 20 cards that you can score and you can see all of them. So to effectively build your planet, you should keep in mind each and any one of those cards. At the same time, you will want to keep track of what the rest of the players are doing. All the planets are open information. So you will want to keep an eye on the other planets. And that's not a fun way to play this game. It's me, I know. I, I can scan through the animal cards pretty quick and be pretty good at it. In the end, I will have the most animals winning the game. Yay! No. I think this game is great for families who do not overthink it. Create and build the planets and, and have fun with it. In the end you can count up the points, but it doesn't really matter. You all have a beautiful planet now and everyone will have some cute animals living on it. Shall we play again? Nah. And again, I do appreciate what has been done here. This magnetic ball can be used in loads of different games. I now desperately want to have this planet as my Death Star spaceship in Galaxy Trucker or make a huge Carcassonne planet. Board games are evolving. The term board is very, very flexible. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you have rules questions or life questions, let me know. If you still have that rash, please go see a doctor. My name is Dave Luza and you've been watching my review of the game Planet by Blue Orange Games. Thanks for watching. Why would a blue whale want multiple seas to swim in? How is he planning to get there? Questions? Questions?